What's going on, everyone? We are back with more Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne HD Remaster. My name is Omega Zero, and in the last episode, we basically just got a whole bunch of lore dumped on us about this world. And I, when I say lore, I mean jacket crap. Um, but we have gone around, we have learned that there was a ride that went on Yoyagi Park, which resulted in several people losing their lives and many more injured. Apparently, it's a struggle between two cults. There's a rumor going around that a demon was summoned. And there's a giant, there's a man rolling the ring around Tokyo dressed in red with a giant sword on his back. Hmm, I wonder if it's Dante. It's Dante. It's shit. It's Dante. If you played 3, uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne, you know about Dante. You know about the meme. Anyways, we're in Shijuku Medical Center. We we're supposed to meet our friends Isamu and Chiaki. And Miss Yuko, or Takao. Miss Takao, I believe. Anyways, forward and onwards! Well, there she hey, is. Time. And I'm turning my volume down more because I'm not sure if the volume picking up from my microphone also picked up from my TV as well because I have my microphone plugged into my PlayStation, like right in front of my TV. So, because it gets better acoustics. Anyways, I am here. Um, is it just me or is something seriously off here? I just got here, so I don't know if anything's off with this hospital. Hmm. There isn't anyone in sight. No nurses. No patients. Question, why did we decide to meet here of all places if there's no nurses or patients and you people are saying this place has been closed for a while? Don't you think there's something weird about this place? I sure do. Again, why the creepy abandoned hospital? Anyway, or at least semi-abandoned from what we could tell about. Oh, right uh, it was Mr. Kai, I was right. I, Yuko was her first name because they don't ever say your, their characters' names after you get their first interaction and with them. Big surprise, he's still gone. He better not be off goofing around. Oh, what's with that magazine? Oh, you mean this magazine? Some random dude wanted it. Or do what? So random do gave me you wanna read it? Eh. These sound like some things you would say in succession to each other. Like that one for example, like Like with the one with Mr. Cow in the previous episodes, like you had to survive, you understood? I don't understand, but I will survive. Come on, you should know better. Some of these answers were like, yeah, you would answer them in like straight succession to one another. Anyways, here you go. Ayakashi monthly. Never heard of it before. Ayakashi Monthly. What? It's an occult magazine? Why would you bring something like that here? Why are you freaking out? It's just a magazine. What? Are you scared of a magazine? Uh, well, are you scared of the maybe occult? Help me kill some time. Anyway, can you go find that bonehead? Uh, yeah, sure, why teacher, not? Then I don't want to be here another minute. You should be on the second floor, where the patients' rooms are. I'll be waiting down here. Oh, and leave the mag with me. Don't leave me hanging too long, okay? I might purposely just stay around forever, but you can't do that because then the game won't officially start. But anyways, yeah. Now you're given the reins to explore Shinjuku Medical Center. And now we gotta go find Isamu who's apparently screwing around on the second floor. Now, it doesn't matter how, what you do against these doors, because these doors will not open no matter what. Because as you can see, they are barred. With some, I want to say some kind of high-tech technology, well not high-tech, probably something. Where they have it like one side's going right, left, right, left, right, left. And they kind of bar your way from ever, I guess escaping in a sense. Anyways, go up to the second floor. I should probably close this. My computer. But you go a little further and there you see Isamu. If you paid attention to the silhouette in the last episode, that is him. Or wherever you want to name your male friend. You name Isamu, you name Yosuke, Brosuke, Kanji, whatever. But these rooms don't have anything within them at the moment. 
as you can see, room A202, nothing. So there's really no point in going to these rooms now. You have a door which I believe leads to the annex. No. Nope, just leads to an empty hallway. It's kind of weird that you think about it. Hey, can you see? Hey, you can't see Chiaki from right here. That's a pretty cool. I'm not sure if you could see in the older one. Because I do know in some games like, uh, let's say Vampire the Masquerade, which is an older game. It, when someone made an unofficial pass for it, you couldn't see the NPCs from down below. Uh, in the older version, but you can in this version. It, in the, with the unofficial patch, like, see? You see Chiaki right there. You can probably try and scare Um, yeah, here you have the way to the annex. Uh, and so you have an escape pass, but we don't have an annex escape pass, so let's leave. Maybe we could come there later, I'm not sure. Like I said, this is like my first ever blind playthrough. And I don't really like doing that, if I'm being honest. I don't like my playthroughs to be blind. Um, but like I said, there's no point in going into the doors here. I believe. No, 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 no. You want to go to one of these two. I believe it's this one. There we go. Oh, man, you scared the crap out of me. Why'd you go sneaking up like that? We were supposed to meet here, you know that. Jeez, to be fair, I could have not. You late, you cause trouble. You know what? Forget it. Not worth it. I'm sure you've already noticed, but this place has been cleaned out. You think everyone, uh, died off? Nah. I called our teacher to make sure this was it. She clearly told me. Shinjuku Medical Center. I I have to agree with Chiaki. It feels like something's up with this place. Is she said there's no nurses, no patients, no one's here, no medical staff, nothing. Something's up here. They could have at least put up a notice or something so visitors aren't clueless. You think they would lock down the building to make sure that no one could get in? But then again, I don't know which hospitals are usually closed like twenty four seven or something. They're probably closed like on certain holidays, but even then they probably have like a few members on site to help. Anyways, what am I talking about? I don't know anything about hospitals. Maybe someone unleashed a deadly virus in here. Don't make jokes about that. You're gonna get me demonetized. Probably. Hopefully not. What am I talking about? I'm not even monetized. Checked out everywhere she might be. I'm running out of places to look. Okay. Think we should just call it? Yeah, why don't we just wait outside instead of waiting inside the hospital? Then again, we might get in trouble for loitering, loitering or something. All right, I'm gonna head back down and check out how our other lady's doing. Here's the point: like they don't show. The, I don't think there's anyone else whose name you're going to be given the choice to change. Anyway, I really hope this isn't the shitstorm it's shaping up to be. But with that, Isamu left the room. And let's get out of here. We have no point of saying here, let's go this way. And with that, we are going to go through here, go back down to the first floor, and we are going to go back to see Chiaki. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like my parents are home. B uh, BRB. Okay, I am back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, nothing at all. It's just my little brother causing a ruckus because he's my little brother. Anyways, back in the medical center. And let's go talk to Chiaki. You're actually, oh, you're actually reading the occult magazine. I thought you said it was scary. Or it was creeping you out or something. One of the two. You know that special report at the beginning of the magazine? I didn't read the magazine. I couldn't read the magazine. Well, it says some things that are more than a little unsettling. Such as? According to this, there's a group of demon worshippers who call themselves the Ring of Gaia.
Okay. And right here in Japan. Apparently, they believe in this book of prophecy called the Scripture of Miroku. Ah, uh, crap baskets. In that book, it says that chaos will engulf the world. And these people are trying to cause that somehow. Whether and you believe them? Chaos means terrorism or something else entirely. The reporter couldn't figure that out. But get this. Uh, no luck finding her. I even checked the men's room. Why would you check the men's room? Uh, didn't need to know that. We're in the middle of a conversation here, so save those details for later. You know, this is also kind of weird now that I think yeah. about it. The lip syncing is so off. Then again, this is an older game, and I suppose they're supposed to talk in Muppet speech or Animal Crossing or something. Or not have dialogue at all. It's just supposed to give the illusion of them talking. I don't know, I have not seen the original. I know, I think I know for some cutscenes that they just didn't have dialogue, and that was like the extent of it. A hospital on the east side of Shinjuku is closely linked to the organization's sinister plan. Let me Again, guess. you believe them. Find out more in our next issue. Oh, it wouldn't surprise me if that article had some truth to it. I've heard some real spooky shit about this place. Like how they Such as? The experiments on patients. Or how psychic started shrieking and bolted out of here. I would say, why would you put any stock in psychics? But this is Shin Megami Tensei, so psychics are probably a thing that actually exists with actual powers. And of course, there's a rumor that a cult's behind it all. You're serious? I doubt he is. I never knew any of that. Maybe we really shouldn't have. Oh, I skipped I it too early. Feel stupid for buying into some bizarre tabloid. But it does get one thing right. How creepy this hospital is. Mm-hmm. It is most concerning. I won't deny that. Again, this is an abandoned it's hospital like from all we can see. So why are we still here? Okay, we search this place top to bottom one last time. If nothing pops up, we assume nothing's wrong, and we split. By the way, looks like you can reach the annex from the second floor. Okay. I'll take a look up there. Whereas you have the honor of searching the basement. Oh, and uh, you'll need this. Obtain the ID card. You're the one who found the card. Why don't you search the basement? Could it be you're too scared? Why aren't you searching Come on, anywhere? This is me we're talking about. The only reason he's going is because I'm sure there's nothing down there. Look, I'm an advocate for true gender equality. Why isn't she is doing anything? Why does she get to see Got here, it. sitting pretty, and get to, I don't know, drink hot cocoa and read a magazine? After all, saving the day is his job. job. I can just imagine him sticking two thumbs up and pointing at himself when he said worst, that. Just run like hell, okay? I can't believe him sometimes. Meh, what can you do? Anyway, let's focus on finding our teacher. No matter what, we have to make sure she's safe. Fair enough. It's not like there's gonna be a serial killer here or anything. You never know that. Um, yeah, so Isamu goes off to the annex. Uh, yeah, let's just go to the basement. I would go check out Hampa. We need an ID card. So let's just head to the basement area. Ah, uh, my fingers. Is that blood? I know I wasn't talking about me. Uh, wow. I don't know why, but... I don't know why that was just in there. Yeah, there's blood here. My first meet that... Oh yeah, there's blood. Let's get the hell out of here. But this is a video game. And we can't leave, obviously. Or else the game wouldn't start. Anyways, you can come down here earlier. Doesn't matter. Uh, since you won't have the ID card, you won't be able to get past this gate. So... Don't bother. 
It, like, it just gives you a little bit of flavor log value. You don't have the ID card. Kind of like with the Annex. Just we went to the Annex, we couldn't explore. There really was no point. Anyways, uh, let's go to the room, Operation Room uh, 101. Uh, what the f is this? What the hell? Uh, yeah, pentagram, blood on the table. What the heck, man? Um, okay. Uh, Operation AO2. You can hear eerie sounds from the room. Will you enter? No. Because my first instinct would be, let's get the heck out of Dodge. But I also want to actually explore the area more. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, more blood. Yet this room is clean. I guess this is like the morgue. There's some blood here, but you could probably s scratch that up to tools or something. Yeah, there's more blood actually leading to this door, like someone got smeared. Uh, this door's locked from the other side. So now there's only one thing we can actually do. Well, two technically, that'd be leaving. But we actually have to go into Operation Room AO2. Will you enter? I have no choice. Who is it? Hikawa. Who dares disrupt this stillness? Is it me or does he look like that dude who was on the on the uh? Billboard. I think it probably is him. I'll have to look at the footage. I'll probably put it here if it was him or not, or at least it looked Only like him. A, lost lamb. a well known poet once said, April is the cruelest month. Have you any inclination as to why? Because it is then one awakens from a long sleep and faces the barren world. Our okay. History as a species is similarly barren, comprised of empty trivialities. The worthless overgrowth of a civilization blind to its sins. Continuous war and bloodshed. And thousands of years of repeating the same mistakes over and over again. The world needs to wipe its slate clean. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. The way to salvation was foretold in the scripture of Miroku. And today, that prophecy shall be fulfilled. The old world will sink like a setting sun. Uh... And the new world will arise. In its place. Why do I feel like this guy's gonna be the chaos alignment? Now, how should I deal with you? From what I recall, you weren't among our followers who survived the purge at the park. Wait, what? Oh, your purge. You mean that crappy movie? I'm kidding. Come to think of it, this was a hospital, wasn't it? Yeah. Came to visit her. Right, dude. However, even a pebble creates ripples when cast in water. So and while I do feel pity for you, your life ends here. Uh, wait. What? What are you gonna do, prick? Uh, never mind. Never mind at all. Never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Uh, Baphomet, okay. Do not be afraid. Uh, all the inhabitants of this world will follow before long. Your time has just come a bit sooner. That's all. Uh, Gaze. Okay, Face him, why not? You fool. Well, not go out swinging. No one can overcome their fate. Hey, go out swinging, you bastard. Stop. Huh? Who? 
Hey, stolen from my dream. What? You can't even let one person go? What effect could he possibly have on our plan? However insignificant he is, I am not a man of exceptions. You know this. Fine. If you don't spare him, then consider our partnership over. Wait, partnership? <sighs> Such a troublesome maiden. Well, <sighs> I'll leave the teaching to the teacher. Save my eyes. This will probably be a screenshot. <laughs> For the episode, please leave. I would like room. to enjoy this blissful end in solitude. Okay, you prick. I'll be waiting in the roof. We'll have a good view of the city from there. Okay. Come, see it with your own eyes. Witness that which will change the world. Ooh. Okay. And with that, we are our hide is saved from the scary demon man. With the with the freaking sword, like what the heck? Or oh, not the sword, jeez, I have Dil Khan running in the background with trunks. Uh scary demon man with the demon Baphomet. Uh but with that, let's get the hell out of here. They weren't there before. There's a tiny child with What's silvery wrong eyes. The master? Are you curious about that person over there? Who? Who? Me? Oh, is that so? My, my. What? But right now, we have other matters to attend to. Let's do that afterwards. What am I not bored? Screw you! Kidding. Nani, what the heck? Nani the frig? This disappeared. What the heck was that? It's a Shimmy Gami Tensei game. Of course, people just gonna disappear and reappear. Anyways, let's uh go to. Uh, let's go to the first floor first. Let's see if Chiaki and uh, Isamu are here. Tell them that I found this uh, Takao. Let's see if we get any reaction out of them. What the? Chiaki isn't in the lobby? What? This is actually a first for me because uh, I haven't given the time to explore before. And Chiaki isn't here. There's a car outside. It's all that cool. So I go to the first floor, and Isamu said he was going to the annex, so let's go check on him now. So what we want to do is we want to go here, I believe. And we want to go here. And yeah, we can't go. But I'm sure if we went earlier, Isamu would have been there. Maybe, maybe not. That door's locked. So, uh, let's take the elevator. And we'll go up to the roof. Because apparently this building has like three elevators that go up to the roof. Or I wasn't paying attention and this one actually does go up to the same spot. Anyways, we're at the rooftop! Yay! So, here we are again. So we are. I'm glad I intervened when I did. Yeah, I probably would have been a stain on the floor. I wouldn't want you to fall prey to a demon. Wait, what? Demon? What you talking about? I'm kidding, you I saw that boss man. You said, right? Yeah. This world is about to be swallowed by chaos. What you mean, chaos? It's called the Conception. Okay. The rebirth of the world. An event which no human has ever witnessed. No human that we know of, but it probably was witnessed by a human some time ago. I guess. Everyone outside of this hospital will perish. What? 
I doubt anyone would approve of such a terrible thing. Most but likely not. Did keep this old world alive, it would eventually lose all its power. The world must first die for it to be born again. What do you mean it will lose all its power? And I alone will carry the burden of its sin. As for regrets, I have none. You sure? What matters is that fate reached out and led you here. And it is your fate to live through the conception. Why? It may actually be more painful than death. Uh... Most people would but still take life over dying, so I guess I'll be in there. Please. Come find me when it's done. No matter how the world changes, I'll be your pillar of strength. It is my duty as the Maiden to take part in shaping the new world. Meaning I can show you a better way to live. I know it must be difficult for you to understand. Yes. But we're out of time. But... Listen. If you can find me on your own, I promise to tell you everything. The answers to all your questions, and what my intentions really are. Why can't you tell me now? Why not now? Why only after... Okay. Now, I don't know how the quality of this will come out. Maybe it will look better on the screen, because I do know that the edges aren't going to be... I think they'll be cut out. I'm not sure. Hopefully it will come out, right? Oh! Whoa, so that's what the dude was talking about. This kind of reminds me of the white ending in SMT4, except that wasn't supposed to happen. So that's what the man was when he said that the world was round. Does it just collapse in on itself? Uh... And uh, as much as I would like to be quiet, I actually can't. Again, YouTube stinks when it comes to this. Versus, oh, you had to keep talking or else we're gonna take down your video. But oh well. Oh no, are we going to be f surrounded by the white? You, who would enter my world, reveal your heart to me. Uh, alright. You have nothing stirred within you, not even a hint of reason. That's insulting. I would like to think I am quite reasonable. But that's not the reason he's talking about. Or whatever this thing is is talking about. For the one who will shake the world, this cannot Oh crap. Go that was my mistake. And discover yourself. Uh, okay. What will be the legacy of your existence? Neutrality! Net neutrality. I'm kidding. Don't want to get in trouble there. But, yeah. Um, in most of uh, my playthroughs, if given the chance to be neutral, I will be neutral as all I can be. Hello. You two again. Do not be afraid. My little master has taken an interest in you. I feel like that's a problem. Human though you are, he wishes to grant you a gift. Now that's insulting. I am not pitiful. It is vital that you receive it. And I'm afraid you have no choice. Uh, I need an adult. Please try not to struggle. 
Whoa, 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 what the, uh, uh, what the hell is that? The, get the thing away from me! No, 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 no! Fuck! Oh. Surrounded by the whites again. Look them up uh, from SMT4 specifically. Magatama is the essence of demonic power. What? With it, you have joined the ranks of demons. What? Oh, that is... My little master is always watching. So, please, try not to bore him. I'll try not to, I guess. Whoever that little freak was. He attained the Magatama... Maroge... Gere... Marogare... Maroga. From the command menu, you, you can view and ingest Magatama. Ew. Hey, we're back in that operating room, the one that had uh, the blood and all that. So we're in an underground facility. Apparently there's a day and night cycle, I think. But uh, what's where we get to be put in our party and we are given our nickname, Narukami. Um, here we go, we have configurations. I had to check this. Uh, let's put out the max and volume. And... Volume for voiceover. Just max. English. I like the English voices. They're fine. Read the volume for the Voidrix world. Oh! Okay, okay. Yeah, it I think this is when it changes the menu, the music for when you find the game. Uh, I like my game to be kind of bright, so we'll leave it at that. And this is how I change difficulty. Menu first. Applies to fight. Okay. And I feel like that's good. I feel like I'll change the music when we want to, like just to hear them first at the very least. But uh, with that everyone, we saw the conception, we witnessed the end of the world, it turned into a giant ball, and some mysterious voice to go tell a fighter on a path of existence. I, why do I feel like I'm back in college? I just say, why do I feel like I'm beginning college? Again. <laughs> but with that, everyone, my name is Mega Zero, and I'll catch you guys.